All right, I'm Mark Collier with the OpenStack Foundation. I've got with me today Brett Pyatt, who's the CEO of Jungle Disk. Now, Brett uh, was not only involved in the creation of OpenStack back when we were both at Rackspace together, he also planned and organized the very first OpenStack Summit in Austin six years ago. So we wanted to check in with Brett and see if anything's really changed in the last six years. Yeah, so I'm sitting here with Mark doing the super user interview now. Um, we're running at Jungle Disk uh, an OpenStack Swift cluster that's larger than I think all of the deployments in the world at that point. <laughs> uh, and I'm sitting in the lobby of the OpenStack Summit here in Austin now, and I see more people in the lobby then we're at that entire first summit. <laughs> so only a couple of changes. Yeah, we probably actually have more people employed in the video crews than we had at the summit. So there were 75 people at the first summit. Yeah. So I guess we we're, what, uh, about 5%? I'm not good with math at this, yes. this point in the morning. but So yeah, amazing, 75 people. Now we have 7,500. Actually, 1%. breaking news, we actually had 7,800 people register. Um, they kept flowing in after we made some slides, so you know, I guess we'll, we'll break that news here. But yeah, so your late registrations you were four times the size of the original <laughs> summit. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of insane. <laughs> it's kind of insane. So we were just talking a minute ago. You were kind of worried. Okay, all these new people coming in, are they actually going to be real stackers? Are they going to be like you know? Boring business people, or what? What did you? What do you think? Yeah, what, what so have you seen? I'm looking around, and as I've been hanging out here, um, it looks like people that are all still hands-on working with the project, trying to use OpenStack to solve real problems. And from the keynote this week, it's not just people trying to use it to solve real problems, but there's a whole bunch of big businesses that are out there running uh, a ton of production stuff. Jungle Disk included on OpenStack these days. Very cool. So, so Brett and I worked at Rackspace together. Um, you know, we we were part of the, the crew that kind of got OpenStack going. Uh, now, you, you've left Rackspace and you bought Jungle Disk, which was a company Rackspace had previously acquired, kind of, kind of you, you took it back out of the Rackspace wall, so now you're the CEO over there. So what, what does Jungle Disk do, in case people are looking for yeah, so something in the disk area. In the disk area. So Jungle Disk does data threat protection for Main Street businesses. So these are the kind of two to 250 employee businesses out there, doctor's offices, law, small law firms, uh, medical practices, um, accountants, financial advisors, those sorts of folks that need to encrypt, keep their data safe, uh, protect their network from ransomware and all the uh, things that are starting to go on out there, um, kind of cyber criminal wise these days. Very cool. So. You, you, you're uh, you're very on message. I can tell you're like you're like Mr. CEO now. Back in the day, yes. Brett was just the guy that that did every everything that behind the scenes that made OpenStack happen. And now he's like uh, he's all grown up. So uh, <laughs> I'm really I'm really excited by what you're doing over there at Jungle Disk. So I'm, I'm glad you're able to come back to another summit. You, yeah. You've actually been to several summits, but since you've been been off doing other stuff, you probably haven't been in a while. But uh, you know, Austin, bringing it back here has been really, really exciting. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm glad you guys could come back here. And um, judging at the rate of growth, um, you guys may take over the city. And if you keep <laughs> doing the summit here, they'll be talking about the OpenStack Summit Week instead of South by Southwest in Austin soon. So I've heard of that, South by Southwest. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we, we've been trying to, uh, you know, trying to keep the pace. I mean, we've got uh, the whole convention center here filled up, plus the Hilton across the street, plus the JW Marriott which the JW Marriott didn't even exist <laughs> when we did the first OpenStack Summit. No, it was it actually not. my favorite restaurant downtown, Las Manitas. And um, I'm actually a little conflicted that we're, that we're giving money to the JW Marriott because they tore down my beloved, the best guacamole in Austin. But you know, my granddaddy always said, you can't stop progress. So you know, it, the JW Marriott's actually really nice. It's just a shame that we had to give up our guacamole for it. Yes. So that's a little side note, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what else are you interested in, in, in on the OpenStack side? You, you, you utilize Swift at a, at a massive scale, so are you able to connect with other Swift users here? Yeah, I've been talking with some of the folks that are using Swift at scale, um, talking about different things that, that we can do to uh, make sure that we're operating it in a way that uh, provides reliability uh, for our customers, because our folks are doing data backup with us. So. Uh, making sure that we're keeping things safe inside the Swift cluster are important, but we're doing more than just that with OpenStack. So we're using uh, Magnum. Um, oh, really? I didn't yeah. know that. So we have a, an Elk cluster for the uh, techie people in our Elk. audience will know that. Yes. Elk stack. Yes, the Elk stack. 
uh, so running on top of Magnum, uh, and we use that wow, to I feed a bunch that. of data in to do uh, analysis check for um, reliability across our services. So we feed a bunch of log information in there, hence Logstash, um, and then search that, present it up for our ops team and our customer teams to be able to uh, make sure that uh, things stay safe for our customers. Very cool, very cool. So uh, Jungle Disk is at space, in, <coughs> excuse me, in San Antonio? Yeah, we're headquartered in San Antonio, Texas, and for us being a data security related company, um, San Antonio is an ideal location um, as it's the kind of operational headquarters for the U.S. Uh, military cybersecurity. So we've got a deep, uh, rich security community in San Antonio, and that helps us out at Jungle Disk. You know, one of the things I've, I've learned, just a pro tip for you, for you viewers out there, is that anytime you talk to a company, you can tell if they work with the government if they use the word cyber because that the government's the only one that actually says cyber. Yes. So, uh, you know, except for, you know, sci-fi uh, sci novelists from like 30 years ago, but uh, I, I can tell you must have secret, deep secret uh, government customers if you're talking about cyber stuff. Well, uh, no, Jungle, <laughs> no Disc, Jungle Disc does not do uh, <laughs> government services, okay, right. um, but being in San Antonio and with the cyber command headquarters there, um, I get to use the word cyber, because okay, that's how right. they talk about themselves. <laughs> a lot of the actual practitioners there don't like the cyber word either, okay. um, but for their bosses to be able to differentiate between uh, cyber and the rest of the ser services, that's how they uh, sort it out. So they're okay. sort of stuck with that word. Well, that's good. I mean, we, we, we talk a lot about words in OpenStack because uh, there's always a debate about that stuff. So uh, the, the first one, the first summit was at the Omni Hotel. Yes. And uh, did we have like five floors, or how, how much did we rent out? You actually negotiated the contract with the Omni, as I recall. I, Not I did. because you were in charge of hotel contracts at Rackspace, it was just we had a tiny, tiny, tiny team, yeah. and everybody just did whatever it took to, to get things going. So, uh, how, how many rooms did we have over there? So, we had one main event space, uh, which was, I'm going to say, about 3,000 square feet. Uh, and then we had. <laughs> like the size uh, of your house. Yeah, four overflow uh, and sort of breakout session rooms that were probably 200 to 300 square foot each. How many, how many square feet are you guys using this week? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, this lobby here is bigger, like looking straight down the lobby here is bigger than our entire main event room was for the, the first oh, summer. Yeah, yeah so there's more hallway space here than there was event space. We had, if you've been to the Omni Hotel in, in Austin, it's up on what, 8th or 9th Street? Yep. Yeah, and if you walk in there, there's an atrium, and then inside the atrium, you can look up on the second floor, and the, the kind of event space wraps around there a little bit. We basically had half of that event space up on the second floor at the Omni. Um, for anyone this week that wants to go take a walk and look over there, um, it's not as grand as you might think it was. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just, just the, the amount that Austin's changed in six years is, is incredible. I mean, the Omni was a, was a fairly kind of uh, big, big hotel and big building in Austin six years ago. Now it's dwarfed by all these massive, uh, yeah. massive condos and hotels and stuff. But uh, so last question, um, you're here in Austin. Um, I'm sure you're aware that Austin has better Tex-Mex than San Antonio. So are you looking forward to eating, eating anything in particular while you're in town? I had torchies for breakfast today. Okay, torchies for breakfast. You know, the President of the United States had torchies uh, a few weeks ago uh, right here in Austin. So uh, you're in good company. That We're not going to talk politics, but we no. will talk tacos. We will talk tacos. Yeah, that was a uh, the good decision by the President there to go to torchies. Yeah. He's going to stop at a taco place in Austin. Torchies is legit. All right, thanks, Brett. It's Thank been you, awesome, Mark. Awesome yes. catching up, and good luck at Jungle Disk. And I'm glad that you're still using OpenStack in your in your new role. Absolutely, yeah. We're looking forward to running a business for the future, all based on this project. Because six years in, we still have a uh, long way to grow and go. Awesome. Thanks, Brett. Thank you.